And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Boxing and the world beyond. And what's with all the theatricals? Get the show started already. Testing, testing. Hello, are we on? Oh, yes, we are. And we are on. Hello, everybody. This is Coach Art coming at you with a little bio podcast that uh, was recommended that I put on our site for you guys. So for those of you that don't know me, uh, don't know anything about me, well, here's a little bit. Uh, Well, you know, I guess we could, the best way to do this would be to start as to why we're doing the podcast. There's a few reasons that came into play that made me decide to do this podcast. Um, First and foremost, of course, boxing. I'm a lifelong student of the sport. Love it like nothing else. Um, Boxing's been my mistress. Boxing's been the girl that has broke my heart two time me, three time me, four. I don't, man. Boxing's an unfaithful woman. But I keep coming back to this pretty lady. Um, there's a lot of things about boxing I just, I simply love. Uh, and that all usually encompasses the science of it. Teaching somebody how to defend themselves and teaching somebody how to express themselves physically while also digging a little deeper into their own spirit each day in their workouts, building that character that makes you just a little bit more special than what you were yesterday or maybe even the person next to you. Character is is a beautiful thing once you add a chunk of that. Not everybody has it, you know. Not everybody has the depth of Uh, the depth of spirit that is gained through challenging yourself and breaking new barriers over and over, whether it be in study or whether it be physically, whether it be in mechanics, I mean, you name it, you know, whatever you do, you keep doing a a little bit better each day. Well, you're going to keep breaking barriers. You, You keep pushing, you keep pushing and you become a greater you. And, in that sense, you become the champion of your life one day at a time. And that's one of the things that we promote. That's one of the things that we are all about, man. Picking up the spirits because that's half the battle. You know, got to keep those spirits up, man. You know, it's a, it's a necessity in life because life's not easy as many of you already know. Those of you that have been fortunate to not know, you're going to find out. You know, some of you youngsters that might be listening that haven't, you know, stepped up to the big arena of life. Well, it'll come. And uh, it's never easy. So you got to keep the spirits up. You got to be champion of your life one day at a time. So we promote that through our boxing. I teach fundamental boxing that was taught from the late 1800s to the 19. 80s most of the training uh regimen of that era those eras connected i which i i'll call the golden era compared to anything today uh a lot of that's been forgotten a lot of the new trainers which i I call them trainers because they're not teachers they uh they're trying to reinvent the wheel of what works for boxing and uh you know these guys are doing 12 rounds today, suffering to do 12 rounds. Man, them three extra rounds, I don't think many of today's guys could do it. At least not at the pace that was done in the old days. But that's all for different podcasts. That's all stuff that we're going to talk about throughout time. Um, the, cre- the the comparison of eras is subjective anyway. So, you know, that's always one of those those dream talks, Sugar Ray Robinson versus Floyd Mayweather Jr., how would that turn out? Well, you know, <clears throat> I have my opinion. 
a Mayweather fan would have his, you know, and I'm, I'm a Mayweather fan to some extent as a fighter. I, you know, some of the things he does out of the ring, you know, I'm not all about, but inside the ring, he does his job. He does what he has to do. And the greatest, the greatest thing I will give Floyd Mayweather is his discipline. That man has been about his career. That is for certain. And that is a, a giant, giant giant part of the recipe that makes him what he is you know the discipline i mean you know he's doing some of the stuff that some of these other fighters like to do like being at a strip joint except for he's not there getting drunk or doing anything else and when he leaves there sometimes he puts on his jogging shoes and jogs five miles home you know i mean that man's, you know, he's always been about his workouts and, and his discipline to his craft. And, you know, that is a championship quality in and of itself. And in that sense, I'll put him right right up there with Robinson. You know, Robinson was also somewhat dedicated to his craft and, and to that level. I mean, he had three times or four times as many fights as Mayweather. But, you know, so there was cracks uh, in, in that uh, career. But... Hey, if Mayweather had close to 200 fights, I'm sure there'd be cracks there too. It just, you know, it, it's it's hard to sustain that that many fights without cracks. Anyhow, the podcast in the boxing sense, we, we want to bring you some different aspects of the sport um, that uh, you just hardly ever see in, in interviews or, or, or TV shows about boxing. The typical podcast about boxing right now is uh it's you know who's fighting next and who's challenging who and who's talking crap on twitter about this fighter or that fighter who's the best trainer who's the best this or who's the best that it's that's all covered you know uh, there's that's all covered so we're not really although we'll talk about some of the big fights that are coming up and we'll talk some of the big fighters um we're going to be more about different aspects uh, of, of of the sport and beyond. That's why it's Boxing and the World Beyond. That's the name of our show. And literally, that's what it's going to be. So, although we'll have a little bit of boxing in every podcast, we're definitely going to touch the world beyond because boxing fans are also sometimes interested in science. Sometimes they're interested in the comedians or singers or musicians, or motorcycle stuntmen, or, I mean, you name it, you know, there's lots of, lots of things that fighters do on the side, a lot of different interests, and there's a lot of fans that are fight fans that don't box, but are big boxing fans, and they're from all walks of life, so I'm going to bring on a lot of my friends, and uh, a lot of characters you guys are going to love. We have guest hosts. Uh, we have, uh, you know, I think a pretty entertaining podcast coming your way. And uh, I appreciate the support from those of you that I know are going to tune in. And I appreciate the support from the fans that we will create. And I'm confident we will create them because we're definitely not going to be bored. Um at least, you know, we'll try to keep the conversations interesting. Another variable uh, in this in this podcast was uh, my Facebook page. Uh, I've, I've made it a habit to make my Facebook page a positive page. Uh, something that if you switch onto my page, I'm not adding to the everyday negativity of politics or you know who said what to who and what hollywood mogul did to this actress or that actress or you know what what famous actor gave sleeping pills to the you know the actresses i man you know all that negative stuff you know i mean i'm sure somewhere along the line we'll touch the surface of some of these things but uh, we're, we're going to keep it a lot more positive, uh, you know, on our podcast. And that's how I've kept my Facebook page. Very positive. Uh, uh, you know, do I rant uh, about this or that here and there? Yes. Yeah. But 
I'd say 90% of my Facebook page has been based about one simple quote. Stand tall through it all and smile all the while. Uh, I'm a strong believer in that. I stand by it because, hey, I got to tell myself that every day because it works for me. It helps me. It helps me to sit there and take a situation and, hey, you know, the big picture of it all, no matter what the problem is, we're going to have to deal with it. Then we're going to have to clean up the mess. Being angry through that process might create a bigger problem or more problems. So stand tall through it all and smile all the while. Works much better than being pissed off all day and, and, and just making a whole area around you negative. Negative is contagious. Negativity, it just, man, it spreads like a cancer. And you don't want to be the center of it. Life won't get better that way. So, aside from rants, uh, you know, invoking the positive thought, almost, uh, you know, messages, uh, you can call them towards the public that, you know, looks at my Facebook, sort of pleading with them, come on, man. Put down the swords and put down the, 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 the verbal abuse. I mean, literally or texting abuse, you can call it, I guess, on Facebook and Twitter. You know, some of these, some people just are attacking the world through their Facebook. It's their pincushion. And, you know, it's sort of sad. It's sad to see that our social media has a higher content of negativity than of anything positive. People fighting about politics they don't even understand. The average person that is of whatever political group, whether you're a Democrat or whether you're a Republican, odds are you really don't know what you're talking about. Hell, some politicians don't know politics. You know, you could be deep in, 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 in the political arena. And not understand how things really work. So when all of these people who are basically fed their information by lying media on both sides. Both sides. Fox lies. CNN lies. They all lie. So when you are arguing on Facebook and you're sitting there spreading the lie from either side. All you're doing is making it worse. You're making matters worse in this country. You're breaking down what's left of the fiber of this country. And it might seem minute to each individual because they say, oh, my Facebook isn't going to, it's going to hurt nobody. My Twitter account's not, oh, no, that's not going to change the world. Well, each needle in the haystack adds weight, you know? And when you put that haystack on the back of a camel, eventually you're going to put enough of them needles to where it breaks the camel's back, you know? That's what happens. And that's where we're at socially. So, my Facebook, I keep it positive. And because of that, in the last few years, I've received what I consider some very special, special emails from people that thanked me for making their day better. And even some, and I humbly say this, even some thanked me for saving their lives. People that were at the point of suicide. And, and, you know, I've had, I've had friends recently pass to suicide and uh, anybody that I could help from that level of desperation, uh, hey, I'm not only blessed to do it if I can, uh, I'm willing. It's it's not a it's not something that it's should be done by anybody.
Life's too precious. And yeah, life sort of can suck. But it's still precious. Precious, precious, precious. Too precious to just shoot it off and, and, and just run away from, from everything, you know? Make the fight fun, man. Life gets hard. You make the fight fun. My life has been rough, and I'm fighting to this day to make my life get to a plateau where I could sit there and say, hey, that's cool. I'm here, you know? And I don't expect that plateau to be permanent. I don't expect some happy place that just, oh, this is it for the rest of my life. I'm happy. Even though, you know, you can get, some people do get there. You know, maybe they had a clear enough childhood to get to that spot and be happy. Well, for those of us that didn't have great childhoods and, and are overcoming the beatings and batterings of, of troublesome pasts, you know, it's a little harder for us to find that glory spot that's forever. You know, for us, momentary happiness. Hey, I'm good with that. If I could find a few moments of happiness a week, I'm cool. I don't expect life to be a bowl of cherries. So my podcast, in some ways, uh, not that I'm going to make it some kind of preachy podcast, but in some ways, we are definitely going to push the envelope for positive thinking. Within my Frisco boxing, uh, I have a, another saying. Be champion of your life one day at a time. You know, stand tall through it all and smile all the while and be champion of your life one day at a time. I, I, those, those two things are the most common things you're going to hear come out of my mouth because that's... That's that's sort of simple essence right there. You know, each and every day, if we try to be better than the last day, hey, eventually we're going to be pretty damn far ahead of what we were at one time. We will make ourselves better if we attempt, or not attempt, if we attack the situation each and every day. If every day my attack to life is to get out there and make sure that I'm a little bit better today than I was yesterday, whether it be in the way I treat a relationship with a friend or a family member or a lover, whether it's how I, you know, how I do my work or how, I mean, no matter what, we can improve on what we're doing. You know, some things, hey, look, sometimes you might hit a plateau, like for work, maybe your type of work, whatever it is, you get to a point, you've got it covered. Cool. Well, there's still other aspects of your day, of your life, that you can fix and make better. And if that's what we try to do each and every day, man, whew, eventually we might be something real special. You know? We're born special. But we can make ourselves better each and every day. Be champion of your life one day at a time. So... Aside from that, information. I'm an information freak. I love more knowledge. Knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. Need it. It's like crack cocaine. I need it. Not that I need crack. No, don't need that. I need knowledge. That is my crack. You know, uh, I was a strange kid. I was one of the, 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 you know, the in trouble kids in, uh, in school, but I'd get in trouble for some strange stuff. You know, I was usually sticking up for, 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 for the weak kids getting bullied on. So I get in a lot of fights for that. So I got in a lot of trouble for fighting. But aside from that, I got into a lot of trouble for ditching class. But I ditched class not to go party with the other kids that ditched class. I ditched class to go to the library and read. Even at a young age, I was a knowledge junkie. So on on this podcast, we will attempt to bring you as much knowledge as we can in different subjects. Stuff that's fun, you know, some stuff that's necessary. 
you know, uh, you're a first time buyer of a home, you need advice on how to go about it, we'll have some real estate experts break it down. What are the things you can do to make it easier to get yourself into your first home? Uh, you need a refi on a home. We'll have experts for that. Uh, nutrition experts. Uh, you know, we'll have, we'll have people that will give you great advice and open your eyes on the facts about nutrition and what's in the food on your shelves at Safeway. Most of that stuff is not food. No. We got a lot of fake food going on in the world and nobody really tripping on it. You know, it's a trippy time in, in uh, civilization. Uh, trippy time. Literally to find out that some of the foods that we eat are not really even foods. When I found out Pringles weren't even potato, I was like, hey, well, what the hell is that? You know? I used to love Pringles chips. They're not chips. I mean, they're chips, but they're not potato chips. They're actually a form of plastic. Insane. Edible plastic. That's what we're eating when we eat some Pringles. Pretty shitty. But, you know, we'll have people that break down, you know, information uh, about these type of things. Uh, I mean, you name it. We're going to have a fun time. It's going to be fun. Each and every podcast, we're going to have a lot of fun just bringing you guys something that will hopefully leave you something to walk away with where you say, hmm, that was cool, you know. Even if we don't bring you some laughs, we'll definitely bring you some knowledge, and hopefully we'll bring you both. We'll also have, uh, here and there, musical guests that will perform on our podcast. So we'll have some live music as well. You know, some live comedians, uh, you know, as well. I mean, we're, hey, we're going to have a whole bunch of characters on here. So we're looking forward to this podcast and, and building, uh, you know, a base of fans that support our show and, and, and spread the word. And hopefully, you know, we could bring you some really cool podcasts. You know, that's that's what, what our goal is. And we hope you'll join us each and every night or six nights a week uh and on the seventh night we'll have a roundup uh so we're sort of going to have something for you every night um that's the goal you know but you know what they say you know you want to make god laugh tell him your plans tell him your plans he'll laugh his ass off he's a funny guy anyhow uh bio wise you know, that's that's why the podcast was created. Um, my love for boxing, wanting to put out more information that's educational uh, about proper training, proper, uh, just, you know, uh, for me, I'm not into the prize fighting aspect of, of boxing. I'm not into the competitive aspect of boxing. That, to me, sort of changes things. Uh, I'm into the science, the art of boxing. Um, today's today's prize fighting world, it, you know, it, it's 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 it, it's a conversation for many other podcasts, but uh, it's a far cry from the world that that I first was introduced to in boxing, and it's sad because it could be so much greater. It could be so much greater. But uh, people have lost training methods and they've lost their manners. This was the gentleman's sport. The, the sport of gentlemen. The most manliest of sports. And now it's, uh, you know, it's been disrespected by the fighters themselves. And even the promoters who bait these fighters like as if they're roosters. You know, um, we don't need that. And that won't get us to mainstream. But again... That's for other podcasts. We will get into all of that stuff. And we'll get into that stuff with some of the top promoters and top, some of the top fighters in the business. So we'll get different opinions on it, different views and perspectives. And, uh, uh, you know, that's what it's all about, right? That's how we come to a middle ground. we got to understand every way of looking at a particular issue. So uh, with that said, we hope you join us each and every night boxing in the world beyond 
We're going to love having you. Toodaloo. This is Coach Hart.